another podcast in the meadows today is a very very different podcast we're outside we're not in the studio anymore because today is clean air day i'm gonna hit i'm here to educate myself and educate you guys on clean air day so come on come with me and enjoy the ride so miss mr can you tell us about clean air day so clean air day is a national campaign to increase the awareness of pollution in our areas so today, outside Judge Meadow, we have part of this, the road closed, the residents were informed, and now all of our students are out enjoying uh, various sort of uh, games that they would have played in the olden days. We've got some plant sales, and people are just talking to the residents. two students here today and they're going to introduce themselves and they're going to tell us about Clean Air Day and what their role is. So, Hi, my name is Ashleen and I'm part of the Sikh Club. Hi, my name is Amanbe and I'm part of the Sikh Society team. So, for um, we are handing out free gifts, uh, free drinks, because in the, time of, in the month of June in India it's really, really hot and we Sikhs give out cool drinks because in the remembrance of the fifth Guru, Guru Arjan Dev Ji, who sacrificed himself for the freedom of religion. Clean Air Day is about like reducing pollution, making the world a better place. So we've closed off the, both ends of the roads and we've got residents down here, family, kids from the school and they're just all enjoying themselves to the free drinks and to games and activities. So I can see there's an experiment going on. Let's find out more about this experiment. So guys, can you explain to us what this experiment is? Uh, we're looking at the distribution of lichen in this area. So different types of lichen show how polluted a particular area can be. So over here we can see this leafy lichen and it shows that this area is not that polluted. Whereas if there was bushy lichen, it's no pollution or crusty lichen over here, then there's a lot of pollution. Thank you so much for telling us more about it. I hope you guys learned something new as well. Here I am with Mr. Richardson. He's going to tell us all about cycling, cycling to school, cycling to work, and just about cycling in general. Thank you. Right, I cycle. I've cycled to school now every day for the last two years. And I've found the health benefits are brilliant. Uh, I used to get very frustrated sitting in my car with all the pollution. I used to get quite angry, uh, wound up at times. I started cycling, I can actually cycle to school now quicker than I can drive in my car. So to encourage the students to try cycling, get more people to cycling, what we're going to do is purchase in some bike pumps, cycle repair, put your repair kits, uh, spanner sets etc. So any basic maintenance at the end of the day, if the students have a problem with the bike, they can come and see me, uh, things will be stored at the central place and we can make a few quick repairs. Sounds amazing, so thank you so much for sharing that with us. No problem at all. And it's crazy that you've been cycling to school for two years straight. That's like a reminder for everybody, cycle guys, cycle, walk, reduce pollution. That's what this day is about. But Certainly. thank you so much for no coming problem. on. Thank it's you so much for enjoying your day. It's important we all do our bits. Okay. okay guys, so here I am with Anna and she's going to tell us more about Sustrans and what she does for the school. Yeah, so we've been working with Judge Meadow for the last year. We've been working with the Eco Group and we've been trying to encourage as many students as possible to walk, to cycle, to take the bus to Judge Meadow just to decrease the amount of cars, to make the air cleaner, to get fitter and healthier. Really good for mental health as well to get that bit of exercise every day. So we've been doing loads of things. We've done bike fixes. We've got maps for your students. We've done obviously part of Clean Air Day today. We've done a Golden Lock competition. So Golden Lock, we go at the end of the school day, we put some brightly coloured locks onto the bike. Students come out, what's this lock doing on my bike? And they get a prize. So we can just try to encourage walking, cycling, and public transport where we can. 
That sounds like an amazing thing and I hope the fun goes through. I'm going to try as well walking and cycling as much as I can. Thank you for coming here, injured mother today, helping out with Clean Air Day. I hope you enjoyed the rest yeah, well, of It's been fantastic. So I can see some plants on the table. Let's ask Mr. Kang about them and maybe he might tell us about them. Hi, Mr. Morning. So we have several several plants uh, available for purchase today, and these have all been grown by Judge Weather students, uh, part of the ACE team. Um, the, the children come over to ACE and they, they do lots of traditional skills, part of which is gardening. And all the, the, the children have been growing uh, aubergine plants, tomato plants beetroot plants and we also have several other ranges of plants back at the school in the greenhouse um, all grown from seed so as you can see these are doing really well and as you can see some of them are doing incredibly well like that one there was planted by Stuart was planted back in uh, March from seed and they're all growing really well and uh, we've already made quite a little bit of money to buy seeds for next year Looks amazing and Thank I hope you. you're doing well. Hope your day goes well and, and you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you very much. Hi Mr. Good morning. Can you explain to us what's going on here? Okay, so we have a bunch of year eight students um, taking part in Clean Air Day. Um, they've been asked to do some lovely artwork on one of the roads near our school. And they are promoting ways to make our world that we live in a lot cleaner place. Um, so we have them designing some crowds, we've got ideas about how to come to school better, so that's like cycling and walking. Because I bet a lot of the students here at the school probably walk in cycling to school, um, I think it's been a bit lazy. Um, but as you can see, I hope we're having all fun, and it's the first time I've ever used spray paint, so you should get some uh, nice stuff. Thank you so much, Mr. Bishop, for coming out. I think you have a fun day as well. Anytime. Okay, everybody, I'm joined here with some really special members from our council, and I wanted them to introduce themselves before we start talking about Clean Air Day. So, hi, yeah, my name's Adam, Adam Clark, and I'm Deputy City Mayor with responsibility for the environment and transport in Leicester. I'm Danny Cannell, and I'm the Air Quality Education Officer for Leicester City Council. Uh, I'm Sue Hunter, and I am the local councillor for Eddington Ward. I'm also an Assistant Mayor for Diversity and Discrimination. I'm Shoydul, uh, Councillor Shoydul Khan, uh, give it to the one, thank you. Hi there, I'm uh, Councillor Deepak George, uh, Councillor for the Edmonton Board, also the High Bender Club City of Leicester. Okay, so hi everybody, now that we know what they do and how what their roles are for Leicester, let's ask them about Clean Air Day. So, can you guys tell us what the importance is of Clean Air Day? Well, the importance is, is obviously to make the air cleaner around our schools, but it's also integral to encouraging people to change their behaviour of how they get to school in the first place, which then eventually helps make the air cleaner. So it's all about kind of changing that behaviour and getting people on board with just a, a new thing, really. It's really exciting. That sounds really interesting, and I hope your plan goes through. I'm sure it will. So can you guys tell us anything um, else about like what Leicester's doing for Clean Air Day? So here at Judge Meadow, we're obviously closed the road so that we clean the road of traffic and that makes the air cleaner which makes us healthier um, it also helps us to combat climate change but it also creates space for people to have fun in as well and it creates a more healthy environment all around healthy and happy environment all around so this is happening at loads of schools across the city today and we hope it sends a message not only to the schools and the children in the schools and the staff but also to people who live around the schools as well that we can live in a world where we don't need to pollute the environment through the way we move around the city um, and we can uh, kind of enjoy each other's company on, on clear streets and that's what we're doing today which is fantastic of course yeah um, the street should be clear, like everything, it, it always should be. So does anybody have any other facts to add on about Clean Air Day that they would like to tell our viewers? Well, I think um, also it makes, the, it makes the environment safer. It's safer for our communities to actually enjoy the environment. And, um, and I just want to say this is an absolutely fantastic day today. And I think you've done a fantastic job. <laughs> Thank you so much. Do you guys have anything else to add? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just basically we need we need to get together and raise awareness of this, not throughout the community, but throughout the whole of the city and as a country as a whole, uh, and set up all it for the whole of the world uh, to follow. To say, look, we all need to change the habits that we get into uh, in terms of like getting to school and the, the transport means stuff. Like walk to school, walking buses, a lot better than 
driving to school, especially it has a lot of different benefits in terms of health benefits and uh, say and it saves up protects our, uh, our our environment too. So just the last question before we end off and sign off, can you guys tell us like um, what activities have we done that you guys enjoyed the most? Uh, what well, I love the the painting on the street and the colour there. It's a brilliant use of, of space that would normally be um, full of parked cars and we've actually turned it into a canvas where people are able to be creative. I love the fact that there's cakes, everybody loves cakes, so we've got cakes out there and drinks, we've got pan sales, we've got a, there's a scavenger hunt happening down there, there's sports activities happening down there. There's so much going on um, in a space that would normally be um, parked up with polluting cars and you know the car is okay and we do need cars in our society but I think we've got too many and we need to create space for people to have fun in safe clean environments. Of course. What have you said? I think Adam said it all really but I'm really intrigued um, to learn more about the Eco Scavenger Hunt because it's an opportunity for everybody to learn a little bit more about how we can be more environmentally friendly but also there's a little bit of a lichen study happening so there's an opportunity to look for air quality indicators in the environment to see whether there is any actual evidence of whether there are high amounts of air pollution in the area. <laughs> I've enjoyed all of the activities and I've actually took part in the activities. I've done the hopscotch, I've done the skipping <laughs> because I had to take photographs so nobody else would do it so I had to do it and I really enjoyed the fresh cream cake with the strawberries on that your home economics teacher made. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you very much. I, I have been enjoying this uh, good morning here because this uh, cake and other activities is very good and already my office and Mr. I don't mention everything so my experience working from my experience in the is the development that already mentioned everything I don't say anything anymore. I enjoy it very much. I think it's wonderful for everybody to get together and uh, you know make this happen today uh, across Leicester with the many different schools and uh, the best, one of the best activities I enjoyed was skipping up for a very long time. Uh, it's good to know that I've still got, I'm still fit uh, and I can still, you know, uh, skip. Uh, but other than that, uh, it's really nice to have the parents and the neighbours, people living on the streets walking by, come together and take part in it as well. I'm, I'm sure it sends out a good message, a positive message to everybody else that Clean Air Day is very important. Thank you guys so much coming on here today thank you for being part of our podcast as well thank you, no, thank you. Okay. okay guys so here i am with sandy and she's gonna she's also from the lesser city council she's going to tell us more about clean air and what she's doing well i'm actually here because my kids have told me that the uh, survey day was going on today and obviously it coincides with clean air day so i thought i'd just come and give my support for this initiative and i think it's a fantastic thing that we should do on a yearly basis and it's a great idea for like the kids to get together and the community around here to get together as well so i'm really impressed with this keep up the good work with it it's really good well done so, so have you enjoyed this day so far absolutely loved it it's been fantastic and it's given everyone a nice little break I think, as well, for the kids. That's amazing. Thank you so yeah. much for joining us today. No Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. As no well. at all. Um, I hope you enjoy your rest of the day. Thank you. Okay, guys, so this is Clean Air Day here at Judge Medical Community College. I loved it so much, and I hope you guys also love me showing you guys around. I hope you guys learned so much because I learned so much as well. But yeah, so basically, this is a wrap for this week's podcast. Join me next time as well. But I just kind of want to add a little message at the end that this is what just made us about. This is what we like doing. We like to bring out the kids to socialize during lesson times. So it's like they also get a feeling of, you know what, we should really stop using cars so much, bike, walk. And I really want that message to hit you guys and impact your lives as well. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you guys uh, like this podcast.